Hello and welcome to the Fish House Nation podcast. Today we're welcoming back one of our favorite guests. She is the girl of 10,000 Lakes, Jenny Anderson. Jenny, welcome back to the show. Always good to be back and to chat with you, Chris. Yeah, I got to have you on, on the show. and uh, <laughs> Can't wait for this winter for the ice to come out because I, I definitely want to come out and get some video of your fish house. But uh, today we wanted to have you on. You have some, ex- some exciting news to share your children's book has just come out, and for us ice anglers, finding a children's book that centers around ice fishing is pretty hard to find. So a lot of people are chomping at the bit to put this under the tree. Tell me a little bit about your book. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly why I put it out. There really wasn't anything out there to serve that niche. Um, You know, I wrote this just as the pandemic was starting here in Minnesota, so that was like March, and um, I was kind of restless and like wanting to be creative and stuck at home and also ice fishing had ended. So it was like, oh, you know, how can I release this energy and still talk about ice fishing? So I started writing this book called One, Two, Three Ice Fishing. And now, you know, seven, eight months later, it is an official published children's board book. And um, I wrote it for Harlan, my son, because I wanted him to just learn a little bit more about why we go through the trouble of what we do, packing our sled and getting our gear ready and going outside in the cold and drilling all these holes. And the book kind of touches on all the gear that's involved, the basic equipment, the different kinds of fish that you'll see here in Minnesota, from walleye to perch, crappies and bluegill, northern pike. Um, And it's a pretty accurate representation of what those fish look like. So I think it's just been so fun for him and then also for other parents who have been getting the book to teach their kids about ice fishing in a more tangible, kid-friendly way. Yeah, my children are are starting to get a little bit older. I have a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old, but I remember reading books to them and and pointing at all the different things on the pages and kind of, all right, that's a, we wouldn't have said this because we didn't have an ice fishing book, but that's a, (laughs) that's a bluegill, kind of going through that. Yeah. That's really how they learn when they're young and they learn uh, how to say things and they learn how how to identify things. And a book like this, I was actually really impressed with it when I got it. Um, like you said, it's it's kind of a, you know it's 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 a hard kind of a card stock type of of book and uh, yep. lots of cool stuff in there. Um, like there's our there's our ID on the fish. Uh, <laughs> pretty much something that that the kids can enjoy and the parents can enjoy talking about. Can you tell me a little bit. You kind of got into a little bit there about the inspiration, but I mean, how does someone decide now's the time I'm gonna I'm gonna write a book? <laughs> Well, it's always been kind of this goal of mine to publish something, a book, whether it was like a coffee table style book with all of our travels and photography that I've done, um, including our uh, ice, you know, our fish house little camper featured in the images. But um, yeah, somehow this just came upon my mind. And, you know, one thing led to another. I like basically wrote down in my iPhone the words, made it rhyme, made it cute, edited it, and then just thought about like, is this something I can tackle? And I did all this research. I have a friend who um, lives in Eau Claire that's in the publishing world. So she gave me some tips on whether I should self-publish or go to Amazon and have them like bulk sell it. In the end, like I have like somewhat of an audience that could support something like this and, you know, use word of mouth to spread it. And also I have the creative, you know, the skills of writing and um, knowing how to plan the graphics and that sort of thing. And I actually ended up teaming up with my sister who lives in Minnesota to to draw this because she is an artist and has been looking for a way to get some of her content published. So I was like, hey, can I, can I commission you to work on this with me? Which I don't know if she regrets it because I, you know, I texted her at midnight, you know, just odd hours of the day trying to get these final edits done so that it was ready for um, getting printed and that sort of thing. But yeah, it's been quite the journey. And, you know, if you have a book that you want to publish, a children's book is definitely a fun way to go because it's short and sweet. Um, You don't have to do as much manuscript editing. Um, I did have some the pros like Patrick Durkin. He's a well-known outdoor writer, review it. A couple of other um, outdoor PR related people review it. Ice fishing people review it just to make sure for accuracy. Like on a tip up, I originally had 
Um, there's this one scene in here where there's a tip up and there's a walleye biting it and the flag goes up when you open the flap. And I had a bluegill on there originally, which, you know, usually you don't catch bluegill on tip ups. Maybe you will, but typically it's like a walleye or northern pike. So I replaced the bluegill with walleye to be more accurate. So yeah, it's been a fun process of like, oh yeah, that's right. That's how ice fishing works and that's how the gear works. And it's been fun to demonstrate that to, to kids. Yeah, working with your sister as the illustrator. Tell us a little bit more about that. Um, how did you guys collaborate together to put this, this whole project together? Yeah, I mean, if you're not afraid of ruining your relationship with family members, <laughs> definitely commission a family member because it's just way more flexible and we've grown closer because of it, I think, because we've um, been able to understand each other in a more creative way. And I've never worked with her before. I've always just seen her as my sister, but now I see her on a more professional scale. And um, obviously like if you work with an, like a graphic artist who's not a family member, you're gonna be more weary about, can I text them at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. or odd hours of the day, but with her, you know, I didn't feel as bad because she's my sister. Um, and I even told her, you know, if this book does well, I'll give you a bonus, you know, and just little things like that that family members can do for each other. It's been really relaxing and I'll probably work with her again if we do do a book number two. How about uh, the greatest critic of all? I know that uh, your son Harlan kind of inspired you. <laughs> what does he think of the book? He loves it. Yeah, I think he's seen me like work on it in Photoshop and like on my computer all through the summer. So I think for him to see it in person, he's like, oh yeah, like th those are the bears that we've, you know, grown to know throughout the last few months. And um, he really didn't know that many fishing terminologies before. He knew fish, like he'll say, Psh, like in a, like a, way that a one-year-old would say it's really cute but now he can say heater um there's one one scene in the book where there's like hot cocoa and so he's always like oh the hot cocoa hot cocoa and then he'll go and grab the hot cocoa from our pantry um auger is a new one um and i've had other parents you know reach out and send me their videos of their kids saying these words for the first time and like you know, they'll show them the book and then they'll show them like what the actual auger looks like and the kid will say it. So it's like, you know, it's clicking for them and that's kind of what's happening for Harlan too. It's on our, um, on our bookshelf in his bedroom. So each night he gets to go and pick which book he wants to read and he will pick this one, you know, every other day. So it's a favorite. That, that's high praise. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Tough critic, but... <laughs> So tell me a little bit about it, um, the book itself. Um, who is it really for? Uh, I know you just said you, your son, you know, he, he's, I think he's about one and a half now. Um, mm -hmm. What would this book really be perfect for? Yeah, I feel like it's for really any kid who doesn't know about ice fishing, who doesn't know what um, gear or what ice fishing is about or how to do it. So even if your kid already knows how to count from one to 10, uh, it goes more deep into the names of the fish and the type of equipment you would take and how that fish can turn into a fish fry at the end and that sort of thing. So anyone you want to introduce to ice fishing and even parents have said, you know, like I am not an ice angler, but I love the Midwest and I love how ice fishing is a tradition in Minnesota. So I'm going to get the book for myself and give it to my kid one day. So I've had some parents, future parents do that. So it's been kind of cool to see adults kind of get into it and then also the older kids as well. So you're inspiring a whole new generation of ice anglers to this book. How does that make you feel? That's my goal. I mean, that, that is like the ultimate high praise I could get, I think, is if there's anyone who can remotely be interested or curious about the ice fishing world and they weren't before, like that's a win for me. And um, I mean, I hope that continues to happen and it, hopefully we'll create future anglers someday and these kids who now you know know a little bit more about tip ups and lures and that sort of thing they'll you know they'll want to go ice fishing with their parents and push them to maybe step outside their comfort zone and say hey mom let's try this for the first time because this book has inspired them to do that that's awesome if someone wants to order one how do they find it 
Uh, it's, I just took, <laughs> I made it easy as possible. 123icefishing.com. 123icefishing.com is the website. They can pick it up for Christmas. And I ordered some last week and I got them like in two days. So your turnaround time was really good. So if people are looking uh, to buy something for Christmas for their children or grandchildren, I think this is a great way to do it. And again, you can go to 123icefishing.com. Jenny, was there something else about your book that I didn't ask you about that you wanted to talk about? Um, I think one thing that um, a lot of the women anglers have pointed out is that this book is about mom taking her son ice fishing or her child ice fishing. And, you know, a lot of outdoor books that are out there are more about the dad or the grandpa passing on the tradition. So I put a spin on it and thought, this is more about me and my son personally. So I said, mom is taking her kid ice fishing. So I think that's been fun for a lot of um, the women anglers out there to see something different like that. That, that That's very cool. Jenny, everybody's getting anxious. I mean, it's December and while the Northern reaches of the ice belt are starting to get ice, most of us have yet to get on the ice. What are you excited about when it comes to ice fishing this year? Okay, so um, I'm going to do a lot more early ice this year. So unfortunately, the, the big little hot dish fish house won't be able to go out with me in the early ice. But I'm planning to go to Upper Red this weekend for some walleye fishing and, um, and then going to Lake of the Woods soon after that. And I haven't done that in a while. You know, last year I had my son, so I was just kind of bare bones as far as how often I could go ice fishing. And then this year I'm pregnant again. So uh, come February, my ice fishing season will be over. Early February, it'll be like February 6th. So I'm trying to get it in as much as possible in the beginning, Get advantage, take advantage of the cold that's been happening up north. I heard there's six inches on Upper Red on some parts. So so far, it sounds like it's going well, and I hope everyone has a really successful ice fishing season. Yeah, they were up there on Upper Red this last weekend, and uh, there was some really fantastic reports. So hopefully uh, you get up there and, and enjoy yourself and have a good time. And congratulations on the announcement. I know that was something you announced on your blog, I think, last week. But uh, yep. pretty cool, another addition to the family. That's right. Everyone's saying, oh, it's three, three more tip ups or whatever, two more tip ups, <laughs> another line. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Honestly, like Harlan, he doesn't need a license yet, but it's nice to just be able to give him a rod and be like, Hey, <laughs> see if you catch a fish. He, yeah. he is getting into it now. So hopefully the little girl is what we're having. Hopefully she'll be into it too in the future. I'm pretty sure she will be. <laughs> and girl of 10,000 lakes. You can find her book at 123icefishing.com. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Enjoy your ice season and uh, hope you, I wish you nothing but health as you uh, enjoy the, the third part of your pregnancy. Thanks. Thanks, Chris.